Dagny Carlson, centenarian blogger, dies at age 109. Dagny Carlson, who started blogging after her 100th birthday and became a social media star in her native Sweden, has died. Stockholm, Dagny Carlson, dubbed the world's oldest blogger, who wrote about her life in Sweden based on the attitude that you should never think you are too old to do what you want to do, has died, Swedish media and her fan page reported. She was 109. At the age of 99, Carlson attended a computer course and a year later, she started her blog where she called herself Boyan. Her friend Elena Strom wrote in an email to the Express and Daily that they had been inseparable since 2011 when she became a student in one of my computer courses. Carlson had thousands of followers and regularly appeared on Swedish television and radio shows. In March 2018, she met with Sweden's King Carl XVI Gustaf and his wife Queen Sylvia at the Royal Palace in Stockholm. After her death on Thursday, the Swedish royals paid homage to her by posting a photo of their meeting on. On her blog, Carlson described herself as a tough aunt, who likes most things, has a sense of humor and is a little straightforward. She posted photos of herself and said she had always been curious. Being straightforward is probably debatable. It's easy to step on someone's toes, and I do not want to do that. But I definitely think you have to be true and honest, she wrote on her blog. Dagny Valborg Eriksson was born in Kristianstad, southern Sweden, on May 8, 1912, the same year that the ocean liner Titanic was sunk by an iceberg, the eldest of five siblings. After eight years at school, she took a job at a shirt factory where she worked for 20 years. She later worked at a corset factory north of Stockholm where she met her second husband at the age of 39. She eventually worked at the Swedish Social Insurance Agency. She continued to live independently until last year, when she moved into a retirement home. Her last blog post was on January 28 when she wrote, Like a cat, I have at least nine lives, but I do not know what I should use so much of life for. She was also looking forward to celebrating my 110th birthday in May. Preferably with a small party.